Hi guys, welcome to episode 26 of Warren's Removals TV. On this episode, we're gonna be checking in with Rory, seeing how he's getting on. We're buying a lot of stuff for the removals company at the minute. We are changing things around the yard and we are also gonna be having a little bit of fun with some behind the scenes of our reels that we're doing. As always, I'm Warren. Welcome to Warren's Removals TV. So you are joining me today down in a cellar, in a deep dark cellar. So we're at a customer's house just doing a bit of packing ready for a move tomorrow. Uh, it's quite a big house, I mean the cellar's big, it goes behind you in a room that side as well which you use for his office. Um, so just packing up a little bit of stuff, some of this stuff is going into the garage and we have got access to the garage today so we could take some of this stuff across and then tomorrow's nice and prepped up but lovely customers, they've got chocolates out for us and everything so I'm uh, indulging in those today but I'm going to just crack on with a bit of packing. Okay, just thought I'd use this little section to talk about how we're getting on this month uh, and this year actually. So, today is the 8th of March. In two days time it's Mother's Day and I still haven't bought anything so I need to sort that out after this filming. But right now we are very busy. Next week it's a little bit flat. Uh, however, we've got enough work on for the guys, so all good. But then the final two weeks I've just been speaking to Esther and we've got 43 jobs to try and cram into those two weeks. A lot of those clients are coming into storage as well, which is good news for us because a lot of people moved out last month. So we've got a lot of availability so we can start to fill that back up again. And if you're in the removals industry and you're watching this and you feel a bit quiet at the minute and you don't like me talking about how busy we are, don't worry because it will all flip around. In a few weeks time or months time, I'm gonna be quiet and you're gonna be busy. It's all to do with demographic and what's going on in your area. So don't get yourself down, be happy and grind yourself through it. Friday, the best day of the working week. And today's quite a nice relaxed day. We only had a couple of quotes on, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. But in the meantime, we're not sat around twiddling our thumbs. Um, I'm currently on my way to an address in Eversham to drop off some packing materials. Uh, we do obviously provide a package service. A lot of customers like to be cost effective and do it themselves, which is great. So what we do is provide all the materials for them, boxes, tape, bubble wrap, paper. And then once you finish your move, we then go and collect them all back in. So today, we're just currently on our way for a drop for our house in Evesham. So while we were doing that, we had a bit of good news. The quote that we did this morning at 9am has already accepted, booked in and paid. We're off to the, off to the dry cleaners next because we've got to collect some protectors. Sometimes when you're moving sofas in and out and they're in our protectors, it's the protectors that's on the ground to stop your sofas from getting dirty. So we take them to the dry cleaner, get them nice and clean so we can use them again. Let's go. On the M5, we're just on the way to the dry cleaners. Why would up? Yeah, I'm going to pick some protectors up. Hello? Hey, you just have a nice little video and feel. No. What, 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 what can I help you with? What's up? Nothing, just loose on a job and you're out. Oh, so this is just a board, yeah. this is just a board and phone call, is it? It's not board and phone call, but like, just loose up. Right, okay, well, we'll be back as quick as we can to try and attend to your entertainment, all right? No, I'll just call George. Yeah, call George. I'll head on the office phone. Alright, see you in a bit then. Bye. Hook them, hook. Sticks, explain yourself. Apart from, 
Right, so we've just picked up the dry cleaning. 60 pounds for full protectors. I don't know if that's a bit expensive. If there's any dry cleaners out there, get in touch, we can strike a deal, because I think that's a bit expensive, 60 pounds. Nonetheless, we're on to get a bit of lunch now with Fraser behind the cam. Big up yourself, Fraser. And after that, back to the office. Got a couple of callbacks to do. Get in touch with a few clients, see what they're looking at. Um, and then we've got a quote at 4 p.m. Back down this area. And obviously, most importantly, we've got to go and keep Esther company. Because she gets lonely. Warren's obviously not doing a good job of it. So on we go, a bit of lunch. Just on the road back to Inkborough, we've had a bit of lunch fuel for the rest of the day, back to the office, check in with everyone else, reply to some emails, um, and like I say, back out to a quote this afternoon. And yeah, let's see what Warren's up to. Let's go and see Wazza, shall we? There's the office mascots. Come on, come on in. Hello. It's James. Yeah, all good, mate. Did you dominate? We haven't done anything yet. We thought we'd come back and see what you were wasting time with today. Where's my McDonald's? How'd you never had a McDonald's? <laughs> He's just holding them up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? We got the protectors back for the dry cleaners. Oh, it should yeah. be brand new. Have a look. How many did we get? Four. Four. So we paid, as we already mentioned in the van, we paid roughly, well, we actually paid £60 for four protectors to be cleaned. These protectors would cost roughly £100 each, so it's obviously much cheaper than buying new ones. And we don't have an industrial washing machine to keep these, the size of these clean, so that's why we have to use a laundrette. We don't do it that often, but what we might have mentioned in the van, the prices have increased because that used to cost £20 about two years ago. So just before we started filming this clip, I'm gonna leave this in. I just had a message of one of my removal friends who's been trialing out iMove. And his name is Troy. He watches these as well, so hope you're good, Troy. He's just messaged me saying he's ready for liftoff, which basically means that he's done the trial period and he loves the system and he wants to go ahead with it. So I wanted to leave that part in because it's fresh and it literally just came to my phone. So I'm gonna act on that after this. However, you can see here on my left that there is loads of protectors and we haven't actually gone through all of them yet. However, I did see on Facebook what this consists of, as well as sack trucks, dolly wheels, wardrobe boxes and other things which we got. So unfortunately on Facebook, I come across a company that's closing down. I didn't get into deep conversation, so I don't know why, but maybe this person just got tired of the removals industry, selling all this stuff off, and we got ourselves a steal. So I haven't worked out completely what this would have cost brand new, how it's obviously second hand, so it's hard to put a value on all that kind of stuff, but we paid 2,500 pounds, and last week we were in his area, so we went and collected it all, got it all back, but because we've been so busy since, it's all just in here. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck into this. It all looks in great condition, and yeah, whatever you're up to now, mate, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, whatever you're up to now, good luck. Okay, so I'm gonna talk and give you guys three Warren's removal tips. The first tip is recruit an office manager. So what I mean by that is me personally and Luke, uh, going back a good few years now, we were running ourselves down to the ground by sending quotes and doing absolutely everything ourselves, working till about 11 p.m. until I made the decision 
to employ an office manager. That is where Esther came in and our workload tripled literally overnight. And the reason for that is because every phone call and every inquiry was getting acted on really quickly. So if you are thinking that this is where you are as a business, I'm gonna give you that encouragement to make that decision because it will transform your business. The second one is create YouTube and Instagram videos. And the reason I'm saying this is because this is something that we've been doing for a long time now and it's great for engagement. A lot of customers mention it. And in total, since we started this, we have had almost seven million views. Now that is great for brand awareness. Now I know it's a bit out of your comfort zone getting in front of a camera. However, once you do it, it does pay benefits. Third one, is put dogs on your website. And the reason I'm saying this is because we've got dogs on our website, staff members' dogs, my dog, and customers actually do ring up and they do say, we actually chose you or we gave you a call because you've got really nice, friendly looking dogs on your website. So everybody loves a dog. There's not many people out there that don't like dogs and having them on your website is only going to benefit things. They're my three tips. Good morning, here we are in unit one and behind me you can see we've had a bit of a revamp. So just wanna give a massive, massive shout out to three members of staff on this. They're all team leaders, Simon, Jason and Chris. So about two weeks ago I mentioned to them I don't really like the layout in unit one anymore and I want something changing. And Simon messaged me and said, what is it you'd like doing? And I said, you know what mate, you decide. And that's exactly what he did. So. Each afternoon he came in, he organized the staff, did a bit at a time, and then last Saturday he did all of this. So beforehand we had lots of crates in the middle and it blocked out a lot of light and it was also a bit awkward to get all the protectors. So Simon, Jason and Chris have done a hell of a lot of work in here. Plus Danny worked on the Saturday, so thank you for that Danny. And here we are. But I'm going to take this opportunity now to talk about iMove quickly and mention six companies that are using it and are also enjoying these YouTube episodes. So the first one is Nick from Free Shires Removals. The second one is Nick from Pro Move Relocation. The third one is Nick again from Manchester Removals. The fourth one is Valentin from Hercules Removals. The fifth one is Mason from Extra Mile Movers. And the sixth one is Laurie from New Moves. All six of those companies are amazing to deal with and I hope you are enjoying iMove as well as these episodes. Morning, it is April the 2nd, I think, just after the bank holiday weekend. Um, I was off last week, but I'm back now. Um, one of my first jobs I'm doing uh, this week is reorganizing the site plans for the containers so all of our storage units as you know in the previous episodes we had containers all along the back row there but we've opened that out to uh, make space for more containers over the back so a lot of these some of them were ground floor now they're top floor they've all moved around so just for our our own organization i'm just reorganizing the site plan and making sure that all the numbers sort of correspond to where they are now Jason's done all of the numbers now so they're all in line where they should be um, but the site plan we've still got the old one um, and now that they all of those have moved it's just all rearranged so um, just to make it easier for Esther in the office and for the staff when they come they know exactly where the containers are um, it's good to just have a plan on paper um, and also if customers want to come in and they want to know where their storage containers are Esther can quickly look at the plan and go yeah you're at the bottom of the yard on the right on the top or or whatever it just makes it a lot easier so that's my first job I'm going to crack on with that so just following on from our um, reorganising the container um, plan down the bottom, we're up on unit four now, and because this is ever changing and we're just getting containers here um, additional all the time, um, it's not worth doing a plan just yet until we're quite full up here. But our containers are running just with a letter after them rather than going really high up into the numbers. We're just doing one B, two B, three B, and we'll continue that until this yard up here is absolutely full. Um, so I'm not going to do a plan for this area just yet, but um, it's going to be done in the next few months, hopefully, when we get a bit more full up here.
So we're just back in the training room here, just to talk about our training courses really quickly. Um, last month we did a couple of training courses. Uh, we try and keep it just to one every other month if we can help it, because our main focus obviously is day-to-day -day customers and the running of the business. Um, and to take me and Warren out of the business two or three days a week each week is a little bit too much. So we try and stagger the weeks and just do a couple every month. Uh, we've got another two this month, uh, which is April. Um, and I've had a new inquiry while I was away last week from uh, another gent in Lon like near London area. So we've done quite a few little companies near London uh, recently. Um, so they're all taking away knowledge that we can hopefully give them and uh, hopefully for them to grow and expand their businesses. Um, but the inquiry comes through on email, which is quite useful. If you go onto our website, there's a, a little link at the bottom of the page uh, looking at removals training, and that inquiry will come directly to me, just the information of their email address, their phone number, their company name, and what, what sort of they're interested in learning or getting out of their couple of days with us. Uh, so I'm just gonna give uh, Alan a call and hopefully get him booked in for, if not this month, probably going into May then. Let's see if he's in. Hi, is it Alan? Hi. Hi, Alan. It's Luke from Warren's Removals. How are you? Hello, yeah, I'm all good, mate. Good, good. I'm just giving you a quick call just regarding your um, training inquiry. Here we are in Unit 3. Me and Luke are just getting a head start for a load up that we need to do this afternoon. Today is the 2nd of April, so fresh back after the bank holiday. Hope everybody had a nice Easter. Uh, what we're doing today is we've got to load up all of this stuff. There's four crates and one shipping container. We have to load all of that up onto our lorry and a van, which is going to Manchester tomorrow morning. So, because the lorry's out on a job today, plus the van, we need to do that this afternoon. So what me, me and Luke are doing, we're just getting a head start of ourselves. So when they get here, it's easy to load up. So we're putting all the protectors on, wrapping the mattress. Luke's walking behind me with some boxes. So like I said, when the guys get back, it's gonna be quick and it's not rushed. So it's worth me mentioning this now uh, because I imagine a lot of removal companies are watching this thinking, what the hell is he doing? Not forklifting the crates onto the lorry. Now, obviously we know that is the best way and the most efficient way of dealing with crates and storage, etc. However, because of our units, they're so low, we've had to position all of our crates in here on the ground floor, which means that we can't actually get our forklift in to lift them out. So because we have to do it that way, that is how we quote our job. So we just manually do it. It is a bit annoying. However, unit four, we're gonna change our ways and we're actually gonna go into that side of storage and we're gonna be forklifting crates onto the lorry. So more will come in a future episode. So it's only 2 p.m. and three teams have just got back at exactly the same time, which is absolutely perfect. We've got one van moving into storage. So the guys are unloading that whilst another team are already started to load the lorry. The lorry's going to Manchester tomorrow, which is one of two jobs which are going to Manchester, which is really unusual, but let's see them load. And that is it for episode 26. We hope you enjoyed. As always, please follow our journey on Instagram here. 
please if you are moving within the area this is our website here and as always catch you next month